All right, welcome to my Mastering the Squeeze uh, two-part series. Uh, this is the second part. Um, we're going to go over creating a squeeze view, which will help you manage your entries, exits, um, just manage the trade in general. Also, to be able to review squeeze plays and assess whether or not um, uh, they're kind of ready to go. Um, if you haven't watched my TTM squeeze uh, slash squeeze pro video, I definitely recommend watching that first. And of course, there's part one of this Mastering the Squeeze series. Uh, about building a scanner, which will be really helpful in finding plays that you can use this view with. Uh, before we begin the presentation, I just want to remind you that this presentation is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So any trades you may take based off of my information, my education, my indicators, um, or any ideas I may express are your trades and your trades alone. Uh, with that, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up a squeeze view in Thinkorswim. And the general concept is the same for other platforms. Of course, the way that you add indicators is slightly different, but the configuration for the indicators is just going to be through the settings for that. Like if you're on trading view, you're going to click on the uh, gear icon for the indicator. And uh, all the configurations should be relatively similar. And of course, all these are standard uh, issue um, indicators that are available widely on all platforms. Um, so what we're going to do is first we're going to go, you know, we're on a daily chart here. Um, we're going to go to uh, studies, edit studies. We're going to go ahead and add in TTM squeeze. And below that, let's add an RSI. If you have uh, uh, ready and fire, you can use that. If not, we're going to just use RSI. That's perfectly good. Okay. Then the second thing we want to add is two uh, Keltner Keltner channels. So we're going to add one and then we're going to add two. Okay, so we've got two of those. All right, at this point, we are good on the lower portion. TTM squeeze default is great. RSI default is great. And now we want to configure our Keltner channels. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us um, these channels that the price is uh, within um, that shows us how far we are from the 21 period exponential moving average whether we are um, close to the 21 period moving average or we are far away and how many ATR away from the 21 period moving average we are so let's configure the first one we're gonna set the factor to 1 this is gonna be our 1 ATR move set the length to 21 select the average type to exponential and set the true range to wilders okay I'm going to leave the color as blue for the average. For the upper band, we want to change this one to a dark gray. The lower band, we want to change to a dark gray. So that's going to give us our 1 ATR move. And if you click OK, that's all set. And then the second one we're going to make is this is going to be our target, right? We want a 2 ATR move. So we're going to make this go up to 2, 21, exponential, and wilders. And for this upper band, we want to give it a target. Of course, you can change the colors here. I like to keep them neutral. That's just for to remove my bias. But if you want to, uh, you can do whatever you'd like with the colors. Okay. Now I'm going to click OK. And uh, we'll apply it. And you can see it in the background. And we'll click OK there. And now you've got this really, really funky chart. <laughs> All right. So... Um, this is pretty cool, and if you already see, you'll see that there's a lot of really interesting things going on here where typically when the price gets past this minus 2 or plus 2 ATR move from the 21 period moving average, it reverts back to the mean. So this is a really cool chart to have in your back pocket when you're doing analysis of where you are in a move. Now, of course, like ATR levels, it provides you some levels, but these are more relative. Um, than uh, ATR levels. ATR levels are more fixed um, based on previous price action and the ATR of the given uh, time frame. Uh, yeah. But this is going to give you relative movement based off of uh, the 21 period moving average. So it's a super useful uh, ATR tool, slightly different one. Uh, and I'm going to show you based on the last video that we had uh, back in uh, November, we had a couple of squeezes um, that we talked about. So here's that two dot squeeze and here's that five dot squeeze that we talked about in the last video. So how do you enter these? It's a great question. Well, we're looking for, you know, 
are we close to the 21 period moving average? You know, we've got the red dots. Great. We're close to the 21 period moving average. Now RSI here was closer to oversold and now it's trending towards uh, being bought up. So at this point I'm looking at this and saying, okay, we're in a squeeze. We're, we're headed up. We're, we're above the 21 period moving average. We'll blow minus blow pot plus one ATR. This is where I start loading. Right? I can start loading contracts, let's say even 30 days out uh, or 20 days out or 60 days out, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, you know, Generally, John Carter likes to load 30 to 60 days in the money, delta sevens. Uh, and so you, know, you can do however you like, but uh, I, I like to follow that as well. That's a pretty good solution. You can also do out of the money. It's your choice. You, you make the selection based on your risk profile. So this is where you're going to accumulate. And of course, you can see when the squeeze fires, it moves up to 2 ATR, and that's where you can take your profit. There's a couple of places you could take profit. You could take profit there, um, you know, and it sort of hugs this 1 ATR move before it makes the 2 ATR move. And it took uh, about a week for that to happen, but that's still a really good trade. You're moving 1 ATR from the 20, sorry, 2 ATR from the 21 period moving average. You're accumulating position over a couple of days, and then here you're taking profit about, you know, two weeks later. For some people, that may be too much time. This is really, you know, for swing traders who want to use the squeeze. So you can take your profit there. And of course, Apple is an uptrend, so, you know, it's going to favor the upside for this move. Again, we have this five period, sorry, five dot accumulation, uh, five dot squeeze where we could be accumulating. And I, in fact, did take this trade. And so it was below the 21 here when it started, then it went above, and then it sort of stayed above, it tested it. And I think at this point, you can start accumulating position, you know, a few dots in. Um, you can start to accum accumulate position here, or you can wait, you know, till it breaks the, the 1 ATR uh, level uh, channel. On the, uh, so 1 ATR level on the Keltner channel. And, uh, you know, of course, we had a beautiful move here all the way up to, I'd probably say maybe 4 ATR from 21 period moving average. And that's really great. You can take profit here, you know, let runners go all the way 4 ATR. Uh, I, in fact, did capture this five-day move, and, uh, you know, you're out of it, comes back down, reverts to the mean. Um, you know, you could have played it again, uh, but it was, at this point, uh, overbought, so that you can rely on price action to determine whether or not you want to continue to to ride that out. Of course, you could have just let this play out if you wanted to and, you know, put stops um, at the 21 uh, and just had it continue up and of course if you had kept stops at the 20 if you're accumulating here and you kept stops at the 21 you know it would have never hit it until maybe here or you know you could have taken profit up here uh, certainly there's lots of ways to play the exit uh, and that really you know take it take profit that's a it's a good idea when you have money uh, that you've made to, to take it uh, and you know this two ATR move can really tell you when to at least start scaling out so it's super nice um, Let's look at a couple of other examples. So in the other video, we built a squeeze scanner. Um, here's the TTM squeeze scanner that we built. And um, let's look at the top choice, which is um, American Airlines, right? So American Airlines is interesting. We, you know, we, wrote, we were below the 21 period moving average when this squeeze started firing, but we were sort of trending upwards, right? And then we have this big, big move up here, and then we're back down and sort of accumulating um, I'm sorry, consolidating at this position. So this could be a potentially good place. You know, I would check options flow. Um, I think I checked uh, um, American Airlines. I think 15 and 16 were the um, uh, calls that people were looking at. Um, and you can see this is a 2 ATR move. This is 1 ATR move. And, of course, at the money would have been 14. So those might be popular strikes for people. Seeing some resistance here with a big wick. So, you know, that may give you a little pause before you want to accumulate this position but generally you know you're you're kind of middle of the road on RSI you know you could start to accumulate a position and always have a stop at the 21 to make sure that if things go awry um, you're you're out of trouble you're you're not don't get in trouble or you could have a stop down at minus 1 ATR really depends on your risk and make sure you manage it let's look at Amazon um, so Amazon's starting a small squeeze. I don't think much of this yet. You know, I think it's it looks like it's sort of in a, um, a consolidation box right here, um, and it's going to break out from that box and sort of within one ATR uh, plus plus or minus one ATR. So let me watch that a little bit and see what happens. Um, let's take a look at Ford, 
eh, Ford's not that interesting. Really not much movement, so I probably wouldn't look at that right now. Um, Tesla's really interesting. Really big squeeze going on here. Our size sort of neutral right now. And of course, you can see we're in this box between the 1 and minus 1 ATR from the 21 period moving average. So there's going to be a move uh, coming up on Tesla, it looks like. And it's, uh, you know, we can see when Tesla moves in a squeeze, it really moves. Um, you know, it likes to go to those plus or minus three ATRs, um, and it can even move uh, the whole range uh, in, in a, you know, a couple weeks. So, you know, monitor this one, and you can see, uh, you know, which way we're headed um, by wa watching the price action. You can look for a break of the box. When we break up or down, you, sh you might be able to accumulate a position there. Or if you have a, a sense of it based off of the options flow or um, some other way. Uh, you can uh, determine it the way that you like to. But uh, I would monitor this one a little bit more. I'd want to see either a break of this level or a break of this level, and then I would probably take a take a trade on it for one ATR or two ATR uh, from 21 period moving average move. Of course, monitor it with a ATR levels or key levels. You know, this is a key uh, supply zone, this key demand zone. Um, so, you know, you want to make sure you're aware of those. Uh, but that's sort of how you'd enter and exit uh, Tesla. You know, we can look back at, we had an example of this. And again, these channels work on all time frames. So we can look at the weekly. Um, we did a trade we talked about back in um, last year. So there was, you know, weekly accumulation here. It's sort of sitting within the 21 period hours, um, a 21 per period exponential moving average for the weekly. Now, of course, this you'd want to buy longer expiration contracts you know, maybe uh, m monthly or, uh, one or one or two months out. But, I mean, this is just an insane move that we saw last year. You know, it started at 1 ATR. This is a great place, you know, back here to be accumulating, and then you get this nice move to 2 ATR. Of course, you could have exited there um, or taken profit, you know, scaled out, and then let some runners, um, you know, over the next couple week weeks uh, move pretty, pretty nicely. Um so again, it works on, on all time frames. Um, and so, you know, what you want to do is, uh, save this style, uh, or if you're on, on trading view, save the template, um, and you can kind of save it to, you know, TTM, um, and we'll include patterns, patterns and study sets. Uh, yeah, TTM and, uh, we'll just save it and yep, that'll give us our squeeze view. Um, and of course, paired with a squeeze scanner, uh, you can start looking for squeeze plays to your heart's content. I mean, this is Oxy. It has absolutely ripped. It's starting to come down. Got a little double top here. And now we're below the 21 period moving average and looking like it's headed down. I'm going to squeeze here. Got momentum sort of, um, downside momentum is decreasing and, we're now sort of stabilized at sort of this midpoint for momentum. So you can keep a watch for that. Maybe we get a move down to um, 53, um, you know, 50, somewhere in that range, 56, somewhere in this range, you're probably going to see a move like we had down here on Oxy. Um, and this is a nice one. Like you can see back in um, March, there was that massive move on Oxy and his accumulation is above the 21 period moving average and it just moved. Uh, so that's a good trade. Um, uh, you know, we had this massive squeeze here, uh, but it was an oversold territory. So it really didn't kind of materialize, uh, until the end. Of course, you could have been accumulating, uh, throughout this point, um, you know, for positive, uh, for a positive move. May have gotten stopped out, though, on this downside move. Of course, it recovered and went to ATR. Um, so there's no exact science here. Of course, um, if that were the case, we'd all be billionaires. Um, but, you know, here's some basic ideas and principles that I look at um, when I enter and exit. So I hope that helps. You know, you're looking for a uh, consolidation around the 21 period moving average. You're looking for red dots, preferably some clear indication on the momentum indicator you know, closer to oversold or overbought on the RSI um, to give you an indication of, you know, which way we're, we're headed. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, you know, typically when something's oversold, it doesn't mean it's going to bounce back. Uh, you know, things can stay oversold for a very, very long time. 
So you got to take RSI with a grain of salt always. And of course, you can look for um, divergence as well. That's always helpful. Um, but yeah, accumulating in this in this sort of launch zone is what you want to do. And, um, you know, looking for additional signals to help you determine which direction it's headed, you know, below the 21 period moving average is typically going to mean it's headed south and above is going to head north. Uh, but, you know, that's not always the case. And of course, you need to monitor the price action and volume. Uh, and uh, options flow can help you get a leg up as well. So I hope that helps. I hope you uh, start finding lots of really great squeeze plays. If you find something great that you love, definitely tag me in it on Twitter, and I would love to have uh, more discussion around it there. Or you can ping me in YouTube comments, however you guys want to do it. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Um, here's Meta. Meta's been in a box for for a few weeks starting to squeeze and looks like RSI is a little oversold so I'm really curious I have alerts set for meta you can take a look at those if you want um, and you maybe want to set those so I'm just looking for a break of the box and uh, of course the first break may be the fake out so I would be looking for a retest of the these levels um, the box levels for for going long or short on it but yeah, you know, Meta's in a squeeze. Uh, we've got, you know, a whole bunch of stuff in here that's, um, here's Micron. Micron's in a squeeze. Looks like it wants to go to the upside. We had some good news on uh, Taiwan Semiconductor today, so makes sense. You know, it got sold off. Uh, massive squeeze to the downside here. Three ATR move from the 21 period. Uh, exponential and then of course reversion back to the mean. Now we're getting another one. It looks like it wants to go to the upside. Uh, but we're below the 21 period moving average, so I would like to accumulate once it gets above that if it's going to be an upside move. Otherwise, let's see what happens. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoy and uh, take care.